Now, residents whose houses have been earmarked for demolition along the banks of the Wager Dam by the Ghana Water Company Limited and the Ministry of National Security want authorities to reconsider their decision since many will be rendered homeless. Central Regional Correspondent Carvis Tete has more in the following report. The Ghana Water Company Limited, sometime last week, raised an alarm regarding the state of the Wager Dam and how human activities such as sand winning building on the buffer of the dam are destroying the dam. The water distribution company further indicated that part of the greater Accra region will be without water if human activities along the banks of the dam are not stopped. The Environmental Protection Agency, who took part in the joint visit to the area, laments the health effects of the human activities on the dam to consumers. The residents whose houses have been earmarked for demolition are worried for fear of losing their properties and questioned why authorities didn't stop them when they started building until now. I think it will cause more damage than good to the person. So I think that they should consider us. They should consider us because you just can't stand on one, one day just because of the road and those stuff. So you want to demolish people's houses. So we are, we, we are pleading to the leaders to consider us before somebody will build a house over there, you, know, you definitely have to see a, a chief to buy the land. Where were they when the people started building? You sat down, watch one person, two people, three people build their houses. Then you stand up one day want to demolish. Where were they when they started building the houses? So we are just pleading for them to consider us. In as much as they are trying, trying to do good to the environment. We are also pleading for them to consider us. Uh, Nasaobapadai, <laughs> Ghana what I'm yet to say, Emma, you see, I'm young, who say, Why are you school? No, a down, no, why not be beer? Why you know, a court down on him, it is uncle for ring, and I be bored them. What dine? Young Kabian, any of the most idea ring. Who be shabby will be a bra, Emma, just a witness, and a dine, they be a day, be do not the sort of time you say, you would dine. Who say, and you're fine. Yesterday, <laughs> I have a secondary school offer. In the end, I don't cry and yes, because what the secondary school no cry and son on our bio. Member of Parliament for the Wage Act with constituency, Tina Na Ilimensa, expressed worry over the impending demolition and says they will meet with appropriate authorities to find a lasting solution to the matter. I wasn't here, I was told, so quickly I rushed the people, they had a meeting and I rushed to them. I have to uh, calm them down because some are so agitated that they, didn't, they don't know what to do. I have assured them that uh, myself, together with the MC and the chiefs around the area, and then with waterways, we will sit down and then we'll talk of it. We know what to do next. And, and then next, uh, maybe we're going to talk. There are people who have built directly in the dam. There are people, I went there myself. It's affecting the dam. It's affecting the dam. It's a, we can't have expansion. But there are people who are also far. Although it, the land, the Ghana and waterways, uh, says it's a demarcated land, there are people who are far. That uh, we are looking at, uh, uh, we we'll put human face to it, and then we're going to let some people off the hook and then some will be affected. Residents living along the banks of the Wija Dam are worried for the impending demolition by the Ghana Water Company Limited and the Environmental Protection Agency. They want government to reconsider its decision on the demolition. Carver Stetter, City News, Wager.